Greetings folks, it's Georgie Mason here with the season three premiere of BNR Weekly. I'm filling in for Nico DeBarge as he has had quite a long weekend. Ah, that party animal. Just kidding, he and his wife just welcomed two gorgeous twins, boy and a girl. Congratulations Nico, I got your back. Now let's get to the show. We are here at Dup and Swap in the great area of Noda, Charlotte. You can get your hair done, you can buy accessories, clothes, everything you need, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to check them out up here in Noda. Now, let's get to the show. First up, let's meet the cast of BNR Weekly. Check out what we each had to say. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nico DeBarge, host of BNR Weekly. Season three is here, I cannot wait. We got a lot of great things. But first, I'm just gonna give you a rehash of who I am. I'm a media personality, Charlotte, North Carolina, Queen City, BNR Weekly, doing big things. I cannot wait for this season to start. We're gonna do it crazy big. My expectations for this season is to do it bigger, better than season two. It's gonna be crazy. I got some beautiful co-hosts. I cannot wait to share the camera with. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, for me personally, I'm gonna bring the funny. I'm gonna bring myself. Just being a, uh, a guy who loves to talk to the people and be out there and just give you entertainment and pop culture like nobody else can. Be in our weekly season three. Nico the Barge. Let's go. What's up? It's Liz PV here again. We're at the third season of BNR Weekly. I am so excited. As you know, I'm Liz Peavy. I am from Statesville, North Carolina. I'm a model and an actress and a TV personnel. So this year, we're gonna have a lot of amazing things happening. New artists, new people, and a little Southern charm from yours truly. So check it out. This season is going to blow you away. Hi guys, I'm Elizabeth Safer. I am Miss North Carolina United States 2014 and I will be North Carolina's representative of Miss United States this summer. I'm so excited to be a representative of North Carolina and I'm even more excited to be here representing my state and to be a co-host at BNR Weekly. It's so cool to be able to get out in our state, get around town and be able to see all the cool things that are going on right here in our backyard. There are so many cool things from fashion shows, athletes who are coming here. I was able to interview Ivory Lada last year which is so cool. Season 1 was awesome, season 2 was great, but you know what, third time the charm season three is going to be amazing and I can't wait to be a part of it hey guys it's Georgie Mason here you know me model dancer actress songwriter songstress all the above anywho I'm back with BNR weekly for the third season and this is going to be quite amazing I am definitely looking forward to working with Miko Liz and Elizabeth this season it's gonna be amazing so tune in so I'm definitely looking forward to covering events in North Carolina South Carolina Atlanta everywhere we might be located in North Carolina but we are definitely going global Season three, as Elizabeth said, third time's a charm. We're coming for you. We're some pretty cool cats, yeah? We'll be here every week. Be sure to check us out. Up next, Nico introduced the great Talib Kweli. Kweli was nice enough to invite us onto his tour bus and show us how things go on his side of the world. And he also introduced us to his new artist. Be sure to check it out right here on BNR Weekly. Hey, this is my bump. <laughs> Okay, it ain't, look, it's do. not fixed either. It's not, but, this is what I do though. Okay, you see how like, this is like brown and whatever. Right, right. But like, I can't, I'm like weird. I can't just like sleep anywhere. Anybody's right, right, anything. I, I feel you, I'm so the same I, way. the first hotel we go to, mm -hmm. I steal a pillow, a sheet, and a blanket, and I like remake my little thing. So mine is always like white. <laughs> And she got a whole bunch of earrings under pillows too. Oh, Gotta yeah, catch like, that. That's her drawer. That's my drawer. So I just kind of keep it like this. And everyone else is just like. Yeah, everyone else is just their seat. Yeah, it's like they a little mini room seat. hats, laptops, and seats. So yeah, it's. But it's, some bunks have windows so you can see outside, but some don't. But I don't know. I like my bunk. It's actually really comfy. Really? Yeah. For me, it's comfortable. Right. And you have to sleep with your head this way mm -hmm. and your feet that way because if you get in an accident mm -hmm. and you're sleeping with your head this way, you're gonna be you're gonna be hurt. Three, six, twelve. But when you have less people, we only have like five people. See, this will suck. Yeah. The bottom yeah. is for the rookies. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, but you gotta start. I would do the middle or the top. Yeah, I feel you. Like if if I had a three thing, right. I'm always in the middle. Right. Yeah. I can't play around. I see. I, I would feel uncomfortable being on the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. Possible. I'm telling you, the bottom is bad because like everyone yeah, lines their shoes, and you smell everyone's funky shoes at night, so you can never do that. Do you feel bumps and everything like that as well? Yeah, but you know what? It's great to sleep on the bus because it's almost like sleeping on a boat. You, you hear that vibration? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes you upset every time. From the top, from the top, from the top, from the top. Uh, uh. Well, thanks for taking out another edition of being on weekly. Nico DeBar sitting here with Talia Kwali and Miss Reese. How y'all doing? 
Prisoners of Conscience. Prisoner of Conscience. Okay, yes, let's talk yes. about Prisoner of Conscience. This album got a lot of features on it. Yeah, yeah Prisoner of Conscience has about Fiona, yeah. Nelly, you got Miguel, yes. you got Rubik's. So, I mean, when, when it comes, because you've been in the game for a while, you know, how, how is it like being an artist? Because you work with a lot. So at this point in the game, how is it like you just got a certain like younger crowd that you're trying to tend to? Uh, no, the songs pick themselves. You know, Miguel, we did that record before there was a, a door. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The Kendrick Lamar, we did that before he even had a record deal. You know what I'm saying? So these were records I did because I respected these people as artists. Right, not right. because I was trying to. Now I got a good ear. So right, right. you know, these these artists blew up and then you know now it could look like oh I'm trying to latch on, but nah, these are people who just I respected and formed an artistic bond with. I'm so excited about seeing you as well as you headlining, of course. Uh, you got big crit on stage right now, he's killing it. Just seeing him. Um how's it working with this guy? Well, Crit is the truth, bro. Yeah. You know, that's the, that's the man, that's the truth. That's one of the newest uh, artists who's coming with who's paying attention to the soul and the rudiments of the culture. Yeah. He's, he's delivering that. Right. So that's one of us. That's the, that's the whole thing. Reese, I love quality. Thank y'all for being on being on man. Appreciate it. Reese, I can't wait to hear you tonight. I know, I can't wait to sing. Right. Right. So appreciate it being on with you. Yeah, it's gonna be done. Reese. Talib Kweli is one of the dopest lyricists of all time. Now, let's rock out. Where are my party animals? Where are my party animals? Where are my party animals? Woo! Where are my party animals? Yeah! All right, um, yeah. So, anywho, the unofficial Black History Month Party Week CIAA is almost here. From February 24th to March 1st, celebs and other people will be here from all over the country. Everyone from Kevin Hart, T.I., P. Diddy, The Breakfast Club, God, the list goes on. There's also plenty for the entire family, such as the fan experience at the convention center, and as well as the basketball games. Before we go, b &R Records has some amazing projects in the works. Prodigy GT will be releasing their second album, Refresh, this spring. D Major is also working on a new song, Dubai, which might be one of the hottest records you've heard this year. Young Jules is currently working on his album, which will be released very soon. Also, b &R Records has signed a new pop country singer. It's got a new twang to it, I kinda like it. So be sure to check it out. Again, I'm your host, Georgie Mason, and we are here at Dub & Swat, No to Charlotte. Be sure to come check them out. They have some amazing fashion. Well, folks, that's it for this episode of BNR Weekly. Be sure to follow us and stalk us like crazy, because we like that kind of stuff, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Be sure to check us out in Creative Loafing for all your favorite episodes. We'll see you next time. And remember, this is just the beginning. We have a whole season left. Three times a charm, season three of BNR Weekly. Hold up, Georgie. One more thing. Uh, breaking news, Charlotte will host um, one of the biggest international games in the world. Um, AC Milan and Liverpool will be playing in Charlotte in August this year. All right, so breaking news. You heard it here first on BNR Weekly. It's going to be a great match, and to be able to host it at Bank of America Stadium, and really this classic American stadium. You just don't see these bowls uh, much anymore in the newest stadiums. And we've got this great stadium that has great bones. And now we're going to be adding to this classic American stadium uh, some of the best technology uh, anywhere that you'd find in a stadium. Thank you, Danny. You know, Liverpool FC has a history of bringing great economic benefit when they travel to other countries. In 2012, their visit to Boston helped generate nearly $9.4 million in visitor spending in the Boston region. That was more than seven times greater than that of a regular season Red Sox home game. So we are honored to host one of the 13 matchups with Liverpool taking on AC uh, Milan uh, Saturday, August 2nd at 6.30 p.m. Uh, Charlotte will take the global stage as a uh, as the game will be broadcast live in the U.S. on Fox Sports 2 and internationally in more than 150 countries. Tickets will go on sale to the public tomorrow beginning at 10 a.m. So let's make this a sellout. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to going and buying my own ticket personally.